Okay, hi there. So today we are going to be taking a look at what is here, which is AM 6.2. We're looking at an author instance here, and specifically we're looking at the Wii Retail Store within, within AEM. Um, now we're going to be clicking through some products here, and one thing I want to point out is all the products we're going to be looking at today are all imported from Magento. So there's actually a collection of products both from the default Wii Retail Sample Store within AEM, as well as the Luma product set from Magento. Um, again, both products though exist within Magento, which is our commerce system here, and uh, both, both product sets have been imported into this AEM instance. So let's go ahead and click around and take a look at, uh, at these products. So we'll go ahead and just click on women here. Let's look at some of these jackets. We have here the Sanja insulated jacket. I'll go ahead and open that up. So this is a configurable product, or that's what we would call it within Magento, and you can see here we have multiple variants. So essentially we have, for example, this green jacket, or we have a purple jacket, and we can switch between these two jackets using this uh, color swatch here. And of course we can also switch between sizes. Um, so this again would be what we'd call a configurable product within, uh, within Magento. And we also have a different type of product here. We have simple products. So, for example, if I click over to equipment and we open up this BPA free water bottle, this would be an example of a simple product. So, again, you'll notice there are no variant options, um, nothing configurable about this product. It's just, uh, just a simple product. Well, let's actually go ahead and buy something. Let's, uh, let's make an order here. So, um, winter's coming quickly. And uh, it doesn't quite feel like it yet, but it'll be here soon. And I'm actually a bit of a winter camper. So I need a new jacket for the season coming up. So I'm going to go ahead and click over to men. And let's take a look at jackets here. So let's see. Um, I think this jacket, this El Gordo down jacket, seems like it might be a nice winter camping jacket. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. El Gordo down jacket. So we've got purple. Again, we can switch through these different variants with the, uh, the swatches down here. Red is nice, but I think green is actually probably the, the best option for me. So I'm going to go ahead and choose green. And then I need, I'm probably somewhere between a medium and a large. Um, but it looks like the price actually, as you can see here, is a little more expensive for the large. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the medium. I think I'll, I'll make myself fit and save the $11 there. So I'll go ahead and add this product to our cart now. Okay, great. So the product's been added to our cart. Sure enough, the El Gordo down jacket, green, quantity one. Excellent. Now for the trip, I think there's one other thing I'd like to buy, which is a new watch for myself. So I'm going to go back to products and under equipment, I believe we can find some watches. So um, sure enough, I think this AIM analog watch is probably great. $29. That seems excellent. Uh, so I'll go ahead and open this up. Information looks great. This is the perfect watch for me, I think, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this product to my cart as well. Okay, great, so uh, sure enough, two products now in our cart. We have the El Gordo down jacket and the AIM analog watch, total of $148. I think, this is, uh, I think this is good enough for now, so I'm gonna go ahead and click checkout, and we will actually check out with these products. Okay, so. Our order summary, let's make sure we have the items we need. Yep, the El Gordo down jacket, color green and size medium, and the AIM analog watch, price $29. This looks great. I think we'll just go ahead and check out now. So, Hiker Man 423, that seems good. 5482, that seems even better at test.com. We'll put in my name, Kevin Mitchell, and my very real shipping address here, 123 test drive. And we'll choose our shipping rate. These are just the default shipping options that, uh, that come with the Magento sample store. So we'll go ahead and choose the fixed flat rate option for now. And we'll review our payment options. This looks correct. Our billing and shipping address are as we enter them. And again, our order summary is also correct. We don't have any discount codes or gift cards for the moment, but uh, if we had, we certainly could enter them. But for now, I think this is good. We'll just go ahead and place our order. Excellent. Okay, so it looks like our order is placed successfully, 
and we've been assigned an order number. It looks like order number 76. So I'm going to go ahead actually right now and I'm going to put on my, uh, my commerce manager hat, so to speak. And let's take a look at Magento itself. And specifically, let's take a look at this order that we just placed and make sure that it came over into Magento as we'd expect. So again, this is AM, or I'm sorry, this is Magento, Magento Enterprise Edition uh, 2.1. And specifically, actually, I believe this is version 2.1.1. Um, and we are interested in sales orders. So we'll go ahead and open up this menu option. And from here, we'll select our order. Uh, order number 76. And order number 76. I can already tell the grand total looks correct. So I'm guessing our order is fine, but let's, uh, let's open it up and make sure all our options came over. Email address looks accurate. Um, billing and shipping address are correct. And most importantly, our products seem select correct. So we can see the El Gordo down jacket, color green, size medium, and the AIM analog watch with the uh, correct prices as expected. Okay, great. So this looks like we've uh, successfully placed an order from AM and it's uh, made its way here into Magento. So while we're back here, actually, I'm going to go ahead and open up a product. Let's take a look at a product. And I want to show how products are modeled within Magento uh, and versus and, and basically what that same product would look like within AEM. So this is the watch we purchased, the AIM analog watch. I'm going to go ahead and edit this product actually within Magento. And being the commerce manager, perhaps I, I feel like the title is, is, uh, is maybe too long or too boring. And maybe the price is a little unreasonable. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some changes to those items, to those attributes. Um, but before I do, let's take a look at how, the, again, the same product is actually um, exist within AEM. So within the author instance, I'm going to go using touch UI here. I'm going to open up the menu and go to commerce and products. And here we can see three folders uh, with various products that have been imported. The connector. Uh, Prior to this demo, I've imported again all these products from Magento into AM, and I've imported them into this Magento 2 folder. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this folder. We should be able to find our watch in here. And the SKU for this particular product is 24MG04. So just uh, navigate through these folders. Here's 24, 24M, and there we go. We can see our watch right here, the AIM analog watch 24MG04. That's correct. So I'll click the info icon. And there we go. So this is what the product looks like within AIM, uh, within the commerce section of AIM. Now, all these attributes uh, would generally be changed by a commerce manager or a similar role within the actual commerce backend system. So for us, that's Magento. But that said, again, you can still see all these attributes. For example, you can see the title, the image or asset path. Um, here are some tags that have automatically been applied. The connector automatically will take the attributes as they exist within Magento and apply them as tags within AEM for marketing purposes. And then we can see the price and SKU information down here. So again, the price is currently $29 and the title is AIM Analog Watch. As a commerce manager, I feel like $29 is perhaps a little cheap for this particular watch. So I'm going to go ahead and change that up to $39. And the title is a little boring, so I'm going to go ahead and change that to AIM Watch. Uh, maybe still not the most exciting name for a watch, but uh, it'll, it'll work for now. So um, with these changes, again, AIM Watch and $39, I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Okay, so our product has been saved. Looks like again, our new price and our new uh, name are here correctly. So now I can switch back over to AM. And I'm, all I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna refresh this page actually. And you can see uh, behind the scenes already, we have the title, which has been updated to AIM Watch as expected. And the price has been updated to $39. So that's exactly what we're expecting. And we can actually already take a look uh, back at the actual catalog page. So if we switch back to uh, sort of the front end here in the author interface, we can go back to products and equipment. Here's our AIM watch and we can already see that the title and the price have both been updated automatically or already within within this interface. 
And uh, this looks great. Aim watch, $39, just as we'd expect. Okay, so I think for now I'll, uh, I'll leave it here. Uh, thank you very much.